Welcome to Geography. For this video, we will learn about the water cycle, the water we use today. You know water can recycle itself in the water cycle, which is called hydrologic cycle. Hydrologic cycle is important because it is how water reaches plants, animals, and us. Besides providing peoples, animals, and plants, it is also moves things like nutrients, pathogens, and sediment in and out of aquatic ecosystem. Let's get started to find out what's in the water cycle or also called hydrologic cycle. Start the cycle with the evaporation of the ocean as this moist air is lifted, it cools and water vapor condensed, it may form clouds. Clouds, in fact, are made up of tiny water droplets and ice crystals that are so small they can float in the air. These moistures in the mo atmosphere may be transported around the globe until it returns to the surface as precipitation. Precipitation may take the form of rain, snow, sleet, and hail. Now, once this water reaches the ground, one or two processes may occur. Some of the water may evaporate back into the atmosphere. Or the water may penetrate the surface and become groundwater. The groundwater may take several different pots the groundwater may seep in its way into the ocean rivers and stream or it may go into the an aquifer which is a body of saturated walk rock through which water can easily move or it may be released back into the atmosphere through transpiration transpiration occurs when leaves from trees and other vegetation give off Water vapor through pores and relieves some water on the earth's surface is not absorbed by plants or become groundwater and it become surface runoff. This runoff may empty into lakes, rivers, and streams and then is carried back to the ocean. So there we go, the basics of the water cycle.